Rafa versus Wenger, no better test. Upper bracket action on Championship Sunday. Will Rafa just rewrite history again? We will find out. Wenger has a little something to say about that. We're going to start it off on Corrupted Keep. Rafa versus Wenger right here, right now, live. Kiel versus the Blaskowitz. Yeah. Kiel is um, it's a pretty safe pick. The execution on this map can be difficult if your opponent is very good at abusing the heavy machine gun, very good at abusing those mid-range fights. So you have to be tactful in terms of your positioning, your movement around the map, but if you get ahead of steam, you get that stack up, you can bully. So Benga also has to be careful not to give away any needless cheap frags. Dual wheel right now. It's going to be pain train for Rafa, but he's doing a good job with the LG, and the pineapple's going to help even it out a little bit. He's on the hunt right now. Wenger thinks wow. it's free, and it's not. Rafa tracks him down, gets the frag, and gets the heavy. Yep, unexpected speed from the big man. Come out of nowhere. As you said, Wenger did not envisage that ton of pace, but he can accelerate. Nevertheless, Wenger's reset himself. He's got the weapons, and he has Wenger at his disposal. So he's okay. But that just shows the challenge he's up against. He's caught Rafa mid-air with the dual wield, and Rafa still turns the situation on his head and gets the first frag. A lot of LG is Wenger caught in a really bad area here. Tries to escape, and again, Rafa just hunts him down right before the item. Good machine gun right off the bat to try and keep any kind of damage output going from Wenger here. Dual wield is back up. But no real weaponry to use. I guess you can pop with nail gun if you really wanted to, but dual shotguns just as good as Rafa. One big defensive rocket to keep him out. Items are still on the same time though, 40, so Rafa will want to try and push this Mega. He knows Venga's a little bit trapped, and you said not the right weaponry, no real stack to work with. He will get oh, no. not a frag as he ran out of ammo, I presume, swapping weapons mid-fight. Venga picks up a fortunate Mega of his own, scoots across to the rocket launcher trying to defend it, but Rafa's coming through with pineapples, coming through with shotgun. The lightning gun is good, but the stack is too big from the America. And that was very, very fortunate from Wenger there, as Rafa did swap weapons in opportune time, but looks to be stabilized rather quickly as he gets that frag back. Wenger flying through the sky, riding the lightning here. Rafa, again, so punishing with that LG. On the hunt yet again. Just one alone pineapple for the Mega Man. Two will comes out. Rafa's still going to take the fight. He knows how stacked he is. He gets quite melted there. He's trying to make his way across, but doesn't have the speed this time. And I think Fenger will be pleasantly surprised with the way this has turned out so far. Rafa has made a few risky the moves, and you can see the game plan from Rafa is pretty simple. Abuse the stack. So the adjustment needs to come from Wenger, but he's doing a decent job of keeping on top of the stack of Rafa. And if he can do that a little bit more effectively, he'll begin to string together a few frags. Totally agree. Item control deadlock just flipped. More wow. heavies for Rafa, more megas for Wenger. So nothing really too alarming for Wenger still. Only two frag deficit for him. Doing good damage here. Rafa nice. needs to be careful in that rocket. Was absolutely pixel perfect. Good use of the dual wield off the spawn. Rafa with just a machine gun to try and keep him at bay. Somehow does so, but down to 100 HP and 50 armor. But the heavy luckily behind him here. Is Rafa doing a good job of still managing the item, item timing. Wenger needs a little bit of armor. Might get caught out here. Good machine gun. That rocket. Wenger's rockets are always so good. Yeah, this is the time of the battle now. It's begin to stabilize where Wenger has to play that mid-range game. He hasn't got a stack to work with. Rafa picked up the heavy fairly cleanly. With the items still at the same time, Wenger catching him up the jumps there. Wenger can play this a little bit slower. He doesn't need to commit. Rafa's the one that has to force the issue with that stack. Wenger should just be playing a little bit of plus back. And as we see, working around the dual wield as much as he can. He's doing a good job of that so far. Pop the dual wield to control the space, making sure that that doorway is going to be a nightmare. And Rafa, he's already smelling blood, denying items. Taking away 150 shard as he makes his way over the heavy. He knows the timing. Wenger getting caught out. Big tickles here as the passive from BJ won't save him. Rafa takes him down a little bit weak, but 225 is a 50 and the heavy. Again, Rafa just running the map almost at will, picking the fights he wants, having items to fall back on. Wenger with such a great LG there. Rafa on the back foot after all that damage. 
Yeah, your point about item denial is actually what has been the deciding factor in this game so far. The fact that Rafa's taking these situations proactively in situations he knows he can fall back onto an item. So he's got wow. significantly more light. Oh, straight to the face. Damn, Venga. Rockets, I was talking about. Just right in the breadbasket there. Keel's a big boy. Finger plants another one. Still only a frag down, but good machine gun here. Rafa's going to press with the LG and then fall back a little bit, taking too much damage, knowing that is not a fight he wants to take. But this is big now, 40. He's taken a lot of damage, and the items are getting split. Venga making the wrong read here, but there's still a bit of time to set up for this Mega, and if he can win the clean Mega, he can then rocket jump across to the Heavy. He's actually trying to deny this Heavy. Rafa playing nice and slow. Has he realized this? Yeah, he's going to scoop up the Mega, but he's a bit runnable now, jumping across. He's stuck up there. Mega drops, as did you will, but Rafa needs to just delay this and play it out. Yeah, and I like Wenger's patience there. Just because he popped dual wheel, didn't get crazy and try to make something happen through the telly. Knew that that was not the fight he wanted. Rafa's still very weak. Wenger looking a little bit healthier. His heavy's going to be the next play here, Dan. Good machine gun from up top, too. Wenger. Pushing towards his advantage, and the LG will get the frag tied at five, and he wins himself the heavy. Yeah. Rafa is out of position for the Mega, but Venga's not in a good enough position to do any damage. He's going to try and catch Rafa once again, but his lightning gun double back with the heavy machine gun. It's good because Rafa does not have a heavy machine gun of his own. Bigger target. If Venga could just keep chipping away, he would have done his job and resets over by the light and they could trade small arms. So this is really tense now, tying it up. And you can see Rafa trying to push the pace. He's the one that picked up the light first. Venga has the Jew wield now, so might be a bit more confident to take an engagement, but cannot take any needless Ooh. damage prior to it. Just a little bit of rocket there from underneath saying hello. This is Rafa going up the jump pad now stuck. Has to be very careful. Dual wield here for some damage, getting stuck in a corner again, but Rafa with the pineapple, knowing how much Wenger loves him on a pizza, shoves one in his mouth, takes that frag six to five at the lead back in Rafa's hands. Those pineapples have actually been really pivotal in a lot of engagements so far. You can never account for the additional burst that comes out with the Citrus. We've still got a long way to go in this one. Venga doesn't have a rocket, could come in a bit handy. As Rafa pushes and forces the issue, he wants to play around the stack, but he misses! Oh no, what a play from Venga there, hanging in there, doing all the damage he needs, and just missed aim from Rafa here, but now he's gonna push. He knows that he's weak, got him in the boneyard, when he needs to plant him in the... Wow, the shotgun, finally! As Venga survives way longer than he should have. Yeah, Rafa taking a bit more damage than he would have wanted, but it was still relatively clean. Also, can pull back on his Mega now. Work his way over to the rockets, although Venga's making his way as well, but he doesn't have any weaponry to challenge. Just a little bit of tickling with the heavy, with the machine gun. But he needs to get into this mid-range fight. That's exactly what he's doing, jumping through the door with a shotgun. Nice frag from Venga, and we are tied up with two minutes to go. What a first map here, Dan. It's Venga using that machine gun well. Starter or not, that's good ship damage, and that's exactly what you need, especially yeah. against a keel on Corrupted Keep. If we think back to the Avec game earlier against Rafa on this map, we didn't see any of this from Avec pushing in with the Lightning Gun, pushing in the mid-range, he swaps weapon, that's not the good swap. Rafa continues the aggression up front and actually gets a frag when he was on the back foot. Big mistake from Venga, and he knows it, but this is not the right play of trying to force the issue with the Nail Gun. There's still time to make a mistake. Luckily, they're both missing, so. He has survived, and Rafa makes his way over to the heavy. He's looking a little bit weak himself, but fully stacked with the pineapple now. Definitely a little sloppy there, fortunate for both players, although Wenger is the one trailing. And to your point, items deadlocked, but 23 small armors for Rafa. Huge rocket Eight. for Rafa. This could be the deciding frag, because he knows Wenger's trapped. How are you getting out of this one? He just pops the jewel wheel, tries to scare him off, actually does damage to himself. Rafa now just needs to run the map. The next set of items will be a big one. If Rafa can just get some pressure over on the Mega. Doesn't decide to want to play safe. Go right for that heavy and reset. Venga, last chance saloon here. Needs to get a light at the Verities, considering how stacked Rafa is. And burn through the stack a little bit of a tickle as Rafa's going to go shaft on shaft. The pineapple's going to turn it in his favor again, Dan. And the pineapple prevails. Two frag lead for Rafa. Now extremely dire for Wenger as he just has to push. He's going to grab LG, but this has to be it. 25 seconds. He has to take the fight, and Rafa oh, just a pixel played. perfect LG. Rafa. 
Man, pineapples, what can you say? They hurt. That, they that's what you can say. See why Jewel Baker doesn't like them. Jill Wheel's there, and even if it's a frag, yeah. it's too little, too late. It will be a frag here, but again, too little, too late. But this is the way the game played out. Glad it ended at a 10 to 9 because that's as close as it was. And this was a fair reflection. Some really clutch moments from Rafa with some pineapple switches. Great play by Venga to keep in it throughout. It's always under the cosh with a kill running at you, but Rafa played perfectly. Pixel perfect pineapples from Rafa there to take it, but Venger really, really well played, like you said. And for those, you know, tracking at home, that was the NA server if you feel like that made the difference. But uh, a great first it's start. EU if you're a Quake fan? Well, I thought that was NA. Pretty Wasn't sure. NA? Pretty sure it was EU. Well, in that case, then even worse, right? Uh, yeah, we could we could triple check that later. We'll find out on the second map. But regardless, Wenger played fantastic. It was close, and that's what you want to see if you're a Wenger fan. Again, pushing Rafa to the limits, making him play perfect. And then, yeah, there you go, a little bit of those reactions, too. No sound? Cool. We can just talk about what we want. No sound for me? What do you mean? <laughs> that is no sound. Huh. Well, no, it looks like YouTube has sound. So oh, be YouTube has sound damn. Now. Shush. Yeah, never mind. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, uh, it was a you really, idiot. It was a really. Right, it's all falling off the rails, chat. Uh, let's regroup here and talk about what we just saw. Rafa narrowly edging out Vanger on that one, ten to nine. And as you said uh, during the game, if you take a look at the lights, gigantic difference. Twenty-six lights in term uh, in favor of Rafa to Vanger's nine, and you're already dealing with that slight stack advantage. It was just uh, the, the pivotal difference along with the yeah. pineapples, but Wenger definitely needed to stack more of those lights. No, it was the lights, and, and we said it big game. I mean, Rafa is the master at taking engagements and then falling back onto objectives. And those objectives aren't just major items. A lot of the time it's lights. Takes the positioning, he knows what's behind him, he knows what's up. And you can see that he just ate up the map and Wenger had to work overtime. He did well, 600 more damage in total, about 10% more. So not as much as he needed to, but he did a lot more damage in a lot of these fights. But Rafa just had to stack and something to fall back on and regroup. Now going into map number two, Molten Falls, it's going to be Scale Bearer versus Ranger. You know how much you love Scale, Dan. Do you think Molten Falls is the optimal choice? Do you think Rafa was just like, I want to get this pick as soon as I can in my favor, regardless of map? We've seen Scale a, a few times on Molten. I think it's that. It's partly a denial pick. It's partly, again, playing a heavy is just a super, super safe pick because you have the buffer of the stack. And Scale on Molten makes sense. There's some decent bull rushing areas, like you're down in the heavy. I mean, that's a, a tunnel of death for a bull rush, particularly in the rail area, banana area. Plus, you're just very quick, so you can get around the map exceptionally fast. What can you say? It's, uh, it's a decent pick, but we saw Ranger also great if you can use the orb to maximum effectiveness and you can snowboard if you get a few early cleaner frags. So Rafa will have learned that lesson and will be playing safer than he did on Veil, vale, but you can play a slower game. And I think Venga, we've seen his rail has been on point all events. So if he can play around the rail, outwork Rafa in the aim, then he's obviously in for a good chance. Absolutely agree as Wenger is uh, pixel perfect with his rails. And, you know, you get a couple rails on scale. He's a big boy throwing that orb in there. You get a lot of damage pretty much for free. So that's a really great way to finish off frags and make sure that scale doesn't bull rush away, possibly to restack because that intergalactic warlord can be a nightmare. Let me take a quick peek at the predictions. Dan, it looks pretty even actually. 53% in favor of Rafa to 47 for Wenger. And that's where we want it. I mean, the first map was pretty much neck and neck. And uh, just at the end, a couple of pineapples and mostly the item control that we talked about from Rafa. We're going to see if he can kind of assert dominance over the items again or if Wenger can break his stronghold on the map. Map number two for Wenger and Rafa. Wenger looking to tie it up and essentially reset the series. Reset the series indeed. There was very nothing. There was nothing separating the two on Corrupted Keeps. So... If that continues all series, it will be going to this. And sound is back, Dan, so sound is back. Be, um, be, be nice to chat. Everything that they didn't hear for the last six minutes. I was now, now they can hear. I it. was just shit talking Twitch chat all series <laughs> long. 
I was sad for them. You're just a bad, bad man. But zero, zero. We're going to see who's the bad man. Here's the LG from Wenger. Early put the feed on Rafa, putting the pressure on. Rafa has nowhere to escape. The 225s are gone. The rail and the bull rush. His only choice, and he plays ring around the rose. He tries to get some damage on the way out. Wenger has a buckshot waiting for him. Nice. Double back court. Wenger's been caught here himself. Wait, go off. Oh, but, oh, that's the orb over. <laughs> Railgun, quick fingers, quick fingers. That was uh, beautiful reactions there from Wenger. As Rafa tries wow. to push, but no, Wenger, shaft is too strong. Gets another frag, is extremely weak. Rafa's gonna have to know this, and depending on the items he has, he might be able to push, but the rail, as you said, so strong from Wenger. Again, defensive damage coming out, making sure he's punishing Rafa at every turn, and that nothing's for free, and that he doesn't get a clean frag. And Rafa was actually late to the heavy because of that, and he won't be able to pressure this Mega. What are you doing, Rafa? There's a big mistake. Not entirely sure what the thought process was there. Maybe he just wanted to drop a bull rush. Either way, it doesn't work. He's also jumped into Wenger here. Orb distraction worked well. Full rush into the wall. Ole, says Wenger, as he's taken a very quick 4-0 lead. He's also going to find Rafa down on the heavy, which is up three seconds. Wenger's just going to have to be forced just to do some damage down here. Big rockets coming out. He's got up the jump pad. Nice rail. Rafa eats another one as Wenger turns up the heat. Said it once. I'll say it again. The biggest enemy for Rafa is walls, as that bull rush just missing. And now Wenger taking advantage. Momentum heavily in his favor. Good rail off the bat. Rafa missing again, missing with the rail, and Wenger survives. He's put up six frags in two minutes, Dan. Rafa needs to unbind scale at this point since it's not working for him today, but he's coming in again with the stack. But Wenger this time doesn't get the damage he needs. He leaves Rafa relatively healthy. He will be able to get across to this Mega as Rafa doesn't have the bull rush. He's coming in hot. They'll take a one-on-one -on -one engagement. Rafa misses with a shotgun and gets absolutely melted. I just missed timing over aggression. It's a very interesting to see Rafa play like this. And it's got to be bittersweet for you because you know DJ Weed is smiling now that scales down by six. And wow, the LG just melting him. And hey, Rafa, yeah, he looks lost. I can only say that Rafa's in cahoots with DJ Weed to get scale bearer banned from the QPL. Like, this is... Uh... This is not what we like to see at all, but what can you say? Wenger is on a tear. There's still a long time left, seven minutes in this game, and if Scalebearer gets ahead of Steam, he can snowball. Molten though, a bigger map, you can play around the angle, so Wenger has a massive buffer. And if I was an odds man, it would be a 90-10 in his favor of winning this map with this scoreline. Yeah, this is absurd. So early on, two six frags in two minutes. You do not see Rafa play that aggressive and give up those kind of frags. But Wenger, the defensive play, ready at every turn from the pressure from Rafa. And now Rafa has just a mountain to climb, a big Italian mountain. Is, is he going to be late for the Mega again this time? Rafa Whoa! pays the price. He does get the Mega, but so much damage coming out of Wenger. All we can say is he's on the ropes now. Venga, uh, Rafa's taking the major items, and Venga's been hitting everything. If that begins to slip, there will be an in for Rafa. Venga's also mistiming his heavies. He's very early. He needs to stick around to do some damage, but he's eating a rail, and that's his signal to leave the vicinity because he's hitting 71% rail, 54% lightning gun. So if that doesn't. If that goes down. He's in trouble. Big burst damage coming out, but the bull rush is strong. Rafa's low. Venga's there. Venga gets. A Thought he got a great spawn here. Still gonna go in and hitting everything, and Rafa runs out of ammo. Wow! But Rafa gets the swap just in time. Whew, that one was close. As out of cells, but the shotgun prevails, and the machine gun will it prevail for Wenger? Yes, and he lands safely back on the map, but he's very weak. And Rafa, again, we're seeing this relentless pressure as he doesn't really have much of a choice. He catches out Wenger. Wenger not really ready for it, but the defensive Whoa! rockets oh! into the rail again. This kid is absolutely bonkers, Dan. Points from the Italian with the 180 rail. Rafa's dropping, but who cares? Wenger's got the flick rails for days. Just before the Mega, though, so he gets regrouped and he's going to come straight back at Wenger. He's going to have to leave the vicinity. As Rafa's there. The bull rush comes out. I mean, that was always going to happen. And he ate so much damage. A bit reckless, but he got the frag. And more importantly, ran into the wall again. But five to ten, five minutes in. Rare to see Rafa trailing by this much, but this is almost where he 
thrives isn't the right word, but this is where he excels. Puts most of the pressure on the opponent to actually play defensive and just ice him out. And that's where he starts to potentially pick him apart for Wenger. We'll see if he can play solid enough for the next 4 minutes, 40 seconds to take this map. Yep, time is slipping away now. And Wenger's doing exactly what he needs to do. He's keeping the pressure on. He's trying to have a presence on the items. Rampa stack is big, but... We've seen the problem he has in chasing down Wenger on Bolton. It's such a big map. The orb is so useful. And Wenger's damage output has been sublime. He's now lost out on two major items cleanly. So he's going to be forced to use the audio cues, reposition and try and hit an early rail. He sees Rafa coming. There's the rail he needed. Is Rafa going to come back? He's already ready for it. It's a bit predictable. Yes, Rafa's done lots of damage, but so has Wenger. Does have a heavy to work with, and he did bait out the Dire Orb. Still has the Bull Rush in too, so that may be the difference here, but Wenger is stacked back up. And now Rafa in a really precarious position. Can't really go up the jump pad. Sirius would be proud. Wenger's hitting 57% now, G. This is absurd. Wow. Oh no! He's oh off the map, and there's God. no orb. Oh, my heart's palpitating, Dan, and not just because I'm chubby. That was very close to Rafa falling over the edge, as we've seen uh, before, let's just say. But Wenger now has to be careful. Four frags as he took himself out, and there is a lot of time on the board. Oh, Rafa, so smart. Wow, he just knew. He just knew. Well, this is what we said, 40. The scoreline was big, but if, skill, if scale gets ahead of steam, it gets a few clean frags and some items. Pressure's on. Great rail from Wenger. He needs another one. How did that go around the wall? Bent it like Wenger. Absolutely fantastic rail. Something he needed what? to slow down this momentum. And now the bull rush forced out from Rafa just to take the heavy and get the hell out of there is Wenger. Slowing things down, saying, no, no, no. This is going to be my map. You're not going to do your shenanigans this time, Rafa. Wenger manages to miss the, <laughs> the one rail Rafa's running in a straight line. Apparently, he only has to curb it to hit it. Another one to extend the scoreline. And now time becomes a real issue. We thought that Rafa had a chance before. That is now slipping away as Wenger extends the lead even further. Ooh, but a good play from Rafa there, catching him out with the rail as Wenger trying to slow things down a little bit. But we talk about it a lot, Dan. You have to be careful not to slow down too much can't give Rafa free reign of the map and just try and play super, super defensive. And look at this, Rafa stacked gigantic as Wenger just wants to stay away from him. Two minutes, four frags, what do you think, Dan? I think every rail Wenger hits, Rafa's chance of winning reduces by 1%. Quick mass. You know it, that's, a, that, that's actually a fact, by the way. <laughs> okay, well, Snapple facts indeed. As Rafa denying that 50 shard wants to maintain that stack and take away all of Wenger's resources, but time is ticking away. All this effort he's putting in just to get one frag. He does catch him out, and the shoulder check in to the shotgun. Buckshot prevails again. There's the rock jump. There's the cutoff. This needs to be perfect from Wenger. Misses with the second one. Dire Orb to get out, but he can't do it, Dan. No, nope, there's still more time. Probable. And Wenger actually gets a pretty bad spawn. He's over by the heavy. Rafa's kind of weak though. Without the bull rush as well, he's going to have a hard time getting onto this heavy armor. And Wenger's there with the spam. Good try bolt. He needs to get out. Rafa needs to make something happen with the rail. One. Can't get a second. He needs to get this mega. And then the final minute of this map is going to be huge. But Wenger's there to do some damage. Still no bull rush here. After it comes. Nice clean frag from Rafa. One frag in it. Dan, I, I know nerve. tensions are running high, but do you think Wenger should have committed that far to that Mega? I, don't I feel like maybe you're sitting back railing. I, yeah, exactly. Definitely. There was no reason to be there. And now Raf is going to get a clean heavy and the game is on. Just how many times have you seen Rafa in this position? It might knows. be able to pull out such a big clutch on Molten Falls and such a big stack on such a big champion. What Good defensive a rocket. rocket. Rafa's going to go around the long way. He knows he's got a bit of time. Will he wait out for this heavy? It's probably a little bit too long. He knows Wenger's on the high ground, though. He's on the hunt. You can see how fast he's going. He's got the bull rush as well. He is going to stick around for this heavy and probably just go straight up the jump. Here he comes. Wenger's waiting. Like a gun out, licking him. But he's being pushed off the map! Oh, my God! Killing speed. Leave time. He didn't have an orb. He used it too late. And now the orb's on cooldown as well. And Rafa is doing Rafa things.
I cannot believe it. Rafa to tie it up, throws Venger off the map, and he takes so much damage going through the telly. Venger in a really bad way here. There's a rail, super weak, but Rafa staying calm. He just wants the frag. He doesn't want to give anything too crazy up. Checking the escape, doubling back for the heavy, and look at this stack advantage, Dan. This is it. Now Venger, I... He's going to have to pull out a miracle here. He's got no items. He's got no timing. It looks like Rafa's on the bull rush here. He's going to orb through distraction. It is. Rafa does get distracted, but he's still in the run. He's chasing him down with lightning gun. The damage is good. Venga's going to have to pull it out here. He's pinning him up, but he hasn't got enough time. Wow. He hasn't got enough stack. And Rafa, what a comeback. That was the most clutch game I think we've seen in terms of deficit and coming back in the Quake Pro League. That was it. I mean, fact man flee, I'm sure he'll correct me later, but to that just off the top of my head, that was absolutely insane. Six frags in the lead, two minutes in for Wenger. Rafa somehow comes back, and we've seen it before. He hits the fadeaway jumper at the buzzer, Dan. It's the sign of a champion. What could you do? Take nothing away from him. He... It's the way he plays scale. He just wants to run at you. And we saw that Wenger was, again, hitting everything he needed to hit to keep himself in the game. But we flagged halfway through. This game isn't over because if Stale gets ahead of Steam, he controls the items. He can definitely snowboard. And snowboard he did. I felt Wenger maybe went slightly too passive towards the end, seven minutes in. And that pressure from Rafa was relentless. And he began to hit more shots than he was doing. And all the damage in the world from Wenger just wasn't enough. And again, from an outsider's perspective, you as a pro player might have more insight, but the, the decision making near the end, that one mega where it seems like he overcommitted and maybe could have stayed back to just rail and do some damage on it. And then just, wow, just getting caught out, thrown off the map, didn't have dire orbs, so unfortunate. And this play, I mean, as much as it went Rafa's way, look at the amount of damage that Wenger did as he dropped. Down to 27 points of health. That almost went Wenger's way, but there is the just world-renowned fist pump from Rafa as he is feeling himself right now. That was an intense comeback, 12 to 11. Just wow, going up 2-0 in that fashion, Dan. How do you bounce back from that if you're Wenger? I mean, look at those stats. Look what he had to do to even get it that close. It's real tough. He definitely should have won that game. You can see the eye to control as soon as that began to spiral away from Wenger. It was pretty slim chances for him, but credit to Rafa. Like, that combat was unreal. I don't know is the answer. I, I think Wenger will reflect on that and see he made a lot of a lot of mistakes towards the end, but that's the pressure Rafa puts you under when he's the guy dictating the tempo, running at you with a full stack. You feel forced to do something. And unfortunately for Wenger, it slipped away. Heartbreaking. Absolutely heartbreaking if you're a Wenger fan, but Rafa just, again, doing Rafa things. I mean, that was a tremendous uh, comeback. And we know that Rafa's good when he's in control, and we've seen him come back from small deficits, but the 6-0. And you did mention that the scale can snowball and maybe a little bit of mix in Wenger playing a little bit too passive, maybe too respectful, too wary. Didn't want to give up anything in terms of damage, but then you give up the map, you have a stack scale, you have a Rafa who has the reps, the knowledge, the experience in that position, and... You know, at a point it was almost a meme, like, yeah, no, Rafa, he could still come back. And then you're like, oh, okay, two frags, three frags. And you're like, oh my God, is he going to do it? And today here, Championship Sunday, what better day? He did it. He did it. But, you know, there was there was a few mistakes at the end, but that's what pressure does to you. And that's the, that's the pressure Rafa puts, on, puts you under, right? Like, even sticking around to try and fight in the doorway at the end when he got thrown off the map didn't feel like he needed to be there after hitting the first rocket but he felt like it was the right thing to do when you're hitting that much you know you got your opponent pinned you just want to end it there and there and a smarter play would have been back off maybe use the orb somewhere else so it is it that's a heartbreaking loss for Wenger to be in so much dominance to feel in so control I can tell you five minutes in he would have felt the game was in the bag but that's the way it goes when when you're going up against Rafa on a scale bearer have to reset mentally and go again yeah just 
Insane. Uh, I've never seen Rafa down so early. I don't know. It, it may have happened before, but when we were two minutes in 6-0, uh, even chat was blowing up like, is Rafa throwing? What's going on right now? What is what is wrong? What is happening? And Wenger was just able to negate the pressure from scale off the spawn, hitting everything, having just enough stack to run to another item and restack again. He was doing really well, and then it all fell apart, Dan. And but now Wenger... Like we said before, no though, Forty, it's when you're relying on so much skill and mechanics and magic. If that magic begins to run out, and your opponent every every time you miss a round, every time your opponent gets a slightly cleaner frag, that momentum begins to build in the corner of that player. And that was Rafa in this case. And slowly, 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 Rafa began to build his momentum to the point where Renga couldn't stop him. We'll see, he's gonna have to stop him here as this is map number three. Rafa working on a 3-0 Wenger fighting to try and get back into this series. Oh, big rocket damage. And a little bit of the flame strike as well. Wenger does negate that. And to be clear, this is still upper bracket, so not the end of things for Wenger, but I mean, this was the test, right? We all wanted to see if Wenger could rise to the challenge of taking out Rafa and so far it's been extremely close to his credit but Rafa just has that edge yep but on this map he doesn't have such a differential in terms of the champion pick so definitely want to see Venger asserting his dominance more in terms of the items we know what Rafa's going to bring the big rocket there should be a frag for Venger nice and clean I just pretty much in the same time. Probably work his way around to the rocket. Good damage coming out. Could win both major items if he plays this well. He's going to drop off to the heavy and probably rocket jump up. There he goes. Rafa's going to try and steal away the mega, which he does. He can actually get knocked forward with the flame. Look at the damage from Rafa. He ticks out, but that's the bird I've got to be wary of, buddy. Okay. Wow. So much damage. It looked like Rafa wanted to reset knowing he was going to go down there, but still not quick enough. Couldn't get away, and Wenger takes that frag off the spawn. He's up 2-0. The missed rail from Rafa leaves him vulnerable, but Wenger doesn't want to push knowing that Heavy's coming up shortly. Yeah, desperately needs a rail, but with the Mega coming up, he actually forfeits the Mega in favor of the rail. How important that weapon is on this map. So trading items. Rafa coming in, but eats a full rocket on his way in, and so he has to retreat and a rail up the ass. Menga knows he's got his opponent a bit on the ropes now and will be chasing him down. Got to be careful going through that TP. You don't want to take this damage. So he does decide to delay and double back. Two minutes in, Wenger looking a lot better. So good to know that the last map did not shake him mentally here. He is firmly in control. There's a good catch here. But the flame strike going to do a lot of damage. Rafa with the LG not able to convert. Wenger out on top again. 3 0 with a heavy. For his troubles, a little bit of a rail there from down under, but Wenger's gonna get both items, it looks like, and he's gonna get another frag with the flick rocket, Dan. I see Blady's also caught him up to spawn here, down by the rail, a really nice trap, but he did take an awful lot of damage, all things considered, with that starting shotgun. 5-0, we've seen this story before, 40. Yeah, we, we've been here before, and there's one big rail, almost hits with another one, but Wenger with a good defensive rail. Make Rafa wary of ever peeking again, at least for the time being. This Wenger is going to grab that lower 50 shard. Sorlax's passive, he doesn't have to worry about the acid. Can roam freely. Look at that rocket jump from Rafa to steal away that Mega and melt down that dinosaur. Rafa is just so good at knowing when he needs to take these calculated risks. There's a little bit of a flame strike after two consecutive rails. Wenger off the spawn already very weak, Dan. Very weak indeed. Rafa's grinding him down. And this is what we need to be careful of. So still concentrate on the items, play them well. Rafa did have to bust out that flame strike, so he doesn't have it for the next engagement, but we've already seen how powerful that can be on Vale, particularly in the mega area, up on that high ground. And here we go, Rafa's got a good rotation on the items, it's a strong split now, so it is quite easy to control those two. Venga playing sneaky little lizard down there, but he's been caught, he's only got a nail gun and he's going to go down clean as you like, and this is where the snowball can begin. Rafa going to cycle these lights as well, as he does so well. He hears Vengar above, big rocket, but he has to go through the fire to do it. Rocket jump up, he knows when the heavy is he's coming, barreling through. He also gets the frag as a gift on his way out. Going to go for the telly, trying to play on this Mega. Needs to be careful not to overextend, and luckily the LG just out of range. He is hanging by a thread, Dan. He is hanging by a thread, trying to defend that TP with his life, and... It has come back to cost him. 
but he's managing just to get some ice. Big to rocket. Another big rocket from Wenger on the defense. Probably won himself the heavy because of that. Looks like it has as Rafa had to go ahead and settle for the 50 shard and dodging a big impact from that rocket, but still splash damage. Good rail there from Rafa. Wenger working with a better stack. Coming around the corner, there's what? the flame strike, but the rockets are just too strong from Wenger. Rafa did not expect the speed of Wenger there. He was sure he could get round to that mega. And now the snowball could begin for the lizard. As he's going in, he's read the movement from Rafa. He's going in hard. Rafa with only a rocket oh. to work with, but the rocket is enough. There's a big rocket comes out in midair, and Wenger retreating towards the heavy. Nice rail from Rafa. Couldn't swap Five. the weapon switch. He wanted to just finish off with the shotgun, but he couldn't do it. Wenger punishes eight to two. Now you got to start thinking, okay, wenger has been here before. Can he finish this one off here? So he needs to be very careful. He's hanging by a thread. Rafa's going to leave up that mega, knowing that he needs this frag, but Wenger's out of there. Yeah. Rafa's struggling a little bit with the speed that Wenger's playing so like this is what we've seen from Wenger in Aero series, the way he is now so confident and quick in his decision making. He's catching Rafa off guard, which is why he's pulling ahead here. Now the heavy is up and Rafa's done his job to get back to him. Wenger jumps in the fire by accident. Rafa knowing his opponent's movements, being low himself, wants to do some damage. A nice rail comes out. Yeah, that tick damage giving him kind of wall hacks as he could see the damage to the wall. Wenger able to restack as Rafa has to wait a little bit on the Mega. Closing in on six minutes, six frags for Rafa to regain to just send us into sudden death. Can he do it again, Dan? He's done it once, twice in a row would be a miracle, but that's what he's known for. So, Wenger fans, hold your breath. I'm sure Wenger is nowhere near as confident as he was last map. Takes another Spin big engagement down there. This time he will lose out. He hasn't done as much damage as he needed to. The Mega's up as well. But the speed of Sulag, he's actually got away. He's going to steal the Mega away. Once again, Rafa makes a mistake. After rest of the speed of Venga, he hits the rail, but he's already lost out on the Mega, which was a huge wow. victory for Venga. And he'll probably be able to win this heavy as well because Rafa is just so low. Yeah, it's rare that you see that. Just a misstep, and Wenger's already on top of the item because he's so fast with Sorlag and Rafa almost just, what do I do here as he gets melted again? Time is ticking away. Five frags as Wenger doing a good job of making sure he gets the refrag as quick as he can. Does not want Rafa to gain any momentum as we saw on the map previous. How yeah. absolutely deadly that could be. It's soul crushing. But the... The tides have reversed in this game because Wenger is the one on the heavy champion here, so the pressure's on Rafa to continually do that chip damage onto Wenger. If we look at the scoreboard, Wenger's out damaging Rafa, so this is the big difference now. And he's also played better around the items as there is an even split on the two. So as long as Wenger continues to play the items and doesn't retreat into himself, this will be his game. Is he taking a lot of damage with the fire, which means he will now lose out on both major items. Now Rafa has to make this count. He's going through the doorway into two big rockets. The rail doesn't connect, but Rafa is low, but he needs to make something happen as he knows his prey is cornered, but it doesn't oh, matter. No. That should be enough for Wenger to see up this match, just barring any big mistakes. Unfortunate, but really good. Wenger staying patient, knowing time was on his side, saying, if you want me, you're going to have to come and get me. 10 to four, as it looks like. Wenger two minutes away from taking this map getting back in on this series, Dan. Yep. Can't say he's not deserved it. No, really, really well earned, especially to be able to bounce back after crumbling in map two. And it, that says a lot, especially to lose like that. It just shakes you. It has the ability to shake you. Clearly hasn't done that to Wenger here. A little too experienced for that, but that's good to see because at this level, the pressure can get to you. That was the last time Rafa won a bail. Uh, maybe uh, any earlier he said it was his best match. I know, so right? <laughs> I don't know who he's talking to or what he's thinking, but somebody needs to have a stern talking to with Rafa and being like, you know what, buddy, we're we're gonna have an intervention here. But 11 to five, Wenger, a minute 20 away from putting this one in his pocket. Rafa still will be up in the series 2-1, but signs of life from Wenger as again the first maps, first two maps were extremely close. Yeah, first fra first map decided by one frag. I mean, last map decided by one frag. Wenger, Rafa deservedly took the first map, played extremely well. You could argue that Wenger should have taken last map, but Rafa, to claw it back, you cannot take anything away from him. This map, once again, he's just been bullied in combat. We are on the EU server though, so that can play into the cards, but we saw what 
Mega could do one American server's last map, so Rafa can take nothing for granted. He's in for a challenge in the, la the next map, or potentially a fifth. Yeah, let's talk about that fourth map. I was eyeing it up before. Deep Embrace, Athena versus Anarchy. Let's go. It's going to be speedy, speedy. At least, I hope. It could very well play very, very slow. We've seen it before on Deep Embrace, but I'd love to see some high flying action a little bit more so here. It's 12 to 6, and the rail coming out. Rafa extremely weak. It's 20 seconds left. This one is in the box, Dan. Wenger able to stabilize and put a map on the board in the series, taking us to a fourth. It is Rafa in the lead though, so Venga will have to win this next map to take us to a fifth. Rafa needs to do the regrouping now, although he is going to be an expert at that. I'm sure he's already forgotten about this map. Yeah, exactly. This although map someone should have a yeah, someone someone should have a talk to him about what best means. I don't think he understands what that means, but maybe maybe it's his best map. Maybe <laughs> every map is his best map. <laughs> yeah, there you go. It's, it's the confidence that you need at this level. Uh, but Wenger, solid play on Vale, taking that one away from Rafa. Yeah, Again, deep embrace now, right? Deep embrace, oh. Athena versus Anarchy. That's why I'm saying it should be speedy, speedy, I hope, but we have seen slow deep embrace games, at least at the start. But then the momentum of Anarchy and or Athena can snowball, especially just given the way the map works. Nah, but just to recap on this game, it was, again, another close combat heavy game, and Wenger's combat skill, this event is is unmatched. He was bullying Razy as well in their series. Every single time on Rafa, no matter what his EU or NA service, he's pulled out some unbelievable shots and it continues here Look at the today. movement and tracking, like in these highlight well, reels, and his rockets are insane. Yeah. Well, the movement was actually such a big factor, putting Wenger on the saw leg. Every t two or three times, he caught Rafa out with his speed over by that Mega. And that time, that time Rafa did get the frag, but it cost him so much. Saw lag was a great pick and really well played by Wenger. CK, didn't bring as much as it could have done, but you can see the value that that flame strike has on the map. The, it's it's not just the burst potential, but you just have to run through it to take engagements. It's like a more powerful version of spit in some aspects. Yeah, and in general, I mean, the speedy champs aside, just two lights on deep embrace. What do you think? One rail off the spawn, which is very, very possible on deep embrace. I think bloodbath. What do you think, Dan? I doubt bloodbath, but. You never know. I think Venga will favor a faster, more combat-heavy game. I am I do feel Athena is the better pick. And we'll have to see. The Inject will have a lot of use on this map as well. It's going to be difficult to get a lot of uptime on it because the Shards time files will be in use by Rafa and not that accessible. So it's interesting. I've never seen this matchup with these two champions on the QPL. If it's happened, I haven't seen it. So I don't know what to expect. But... Favoring Rafa slightly just because of the Athena. However, we've seen Deep Embrace go snowball both ways. It could really be anyone's game. Well, chat with the predictions 65 to 35 in favor of Rafa. We will see. Again, Wenger had his back up against the wall and he delivered on Vale. Setting us up for a 2 1 in favor of Rafa in the series as we're heading over to the fourth shortly. And uh, I don't know specifically about these two players, but I know Maxter for sure just has the shotgun spawn rail down to an art form and i really feel as though if either of these players have that as well it's just going to be huge because as a light you spawn you take a rail what do you do you're already just down you have no options i think that might play into it but we'll see how it's if it does snowball and how it plays out yeah that's why the first frag can be so crucial on a map like this because as you say the snowball potential is is strong if it's a clean frag Ida control, once again, always going to be paramount, particularly on the light, but light versus light. The items don't matter as much because a single untraded rail will put you back to an even stack. And so it will be a, a rail heavy game. And if, if Wenger can begin connecting with the rails we've seen him do today, he can actually take this map because Rafa's rail has been good, but Wenger's rail has been insane. I agree. I, th I think if you were to ask who has the better rail, We'd probably say Wenger most of the time. No disrespect to Rafa, but Wenger, the ability to hit flashy, insane rails is probably something. And under duress, Rafa has the more methodical kind of take the line, hold the line, take those steady, easy, non-returnable rail shots. But Wenger, he's just like, I'm just going to hit four in a row 
moving backwards, getting hit with rockets, LG, it doesn't really matter. So we might see some of that. And not to call the set early in, in either direction, but you got to start thinking of, okay, this is upper bracket. Someone who loses is going to be forced down into the lower, and they're going to end up facing Cypher or Nosfa. It's going to just make everything so much harder. I mean, this is a battle of trying to save your energy more than anything. If you win this one, you get a nice long break before going into the grand finals. Again, Rafa's been there before, but Wenger trying to break into, I believe, his first grand finals. That would be huge for him right now, especially over Rafa. I mean, I think virtually every player has a mental block against Rafa. So to get one up on him will be... Except Baxter. Max would like a word with you. <laughs> I think he'll disagree, but... <laughs> Uh, I think it'd be immeasurable in terms of confidence, but he's got to win two in a row, remember. And to get through this, if he wins this map, I actually do favor him for the final one because I think he, the odds are against him on this map. Athena is an X Factor in Rafa's hands. Anarchy is quite difficult to play on this map in particular. We'll see how Wenger can manage it. It's going to be a real tough one. Sure. And just to remind those at home, Awoken is going to be the fifth map. It's going to be Rafa on the visor, Wenger on the Galena. So you're saying the overstack is just going to be too much for the vision, huh? I just favor him in terms of momentum, and I do favor the champion pick. I think Vise is pretty good on that map. It's not a it's not a mainstream pick. It's very useful. Some people favor it, but I, I like Galena on that map a lot. We'll see. We'll see if we can get five again. I'm I'm always down for more quakes. So if we can go the full five, fantastic. It's uh, the player stress, not mine. So we'll see if we can get there. But Wenger has a lot of work cut out for him in the next ten minutes here. So we're loading up shortly. Thanks for being patient, chat. And even if you're not, you don't have a choice. Deep Embrace, <laughs> Athena versus Anarchy. Don't you love it, Dan, when you have all the power? It's fantastic. Um, but yeah, thanks for tuning in. Uh, Championship Sunday has delivered, and we got a lot more in store for you. So big shouts to everyone for locking in. And uh, make sure you tell your family, your friends, your friend's family, your neighbors, everybody. Everybody should be watching this right now. But we did hear the buzzer for these, so we will be going in. Getting in there. And Getting in there. now. Oh, it's been the 10th series so far. I mean, it that, has. That map was the biggest scoreline difference we've had out of them all. Yeah, I mean, one frag for one map and two. And again, technically map two should have been Wenger's. Rafa pulling out uh, just an insane comeback to take that one by one. But Wenger stabilizing, able to uh, stop the bleeding for now. But this is going to be the big one right here. If he could send us to map number five with momentum, who knows what can happen there. But first, it's going to be map number four, Deep Embrace between Rafa and Wenger. We are live, Dan. Let's do it. Rafa, Wenger right now. Starting over on Rafa, who gets the Mega Spawn. No weapons just yet. Makes his way over to Lightning Gun. Wenger, everything in his disposal. Delaying the Heavy ever so slightly. Rafa sees that with the drop down, though, so knows what's up. Wenger with that Lightning Gun wants to close the gap. Strafing round. And Rafa's already gone to get himself a rocket. And right. Big hit. Is oh. he off the map? No. Grapples back on. Nearly. Quick reaction, but. Tapping over. Doesn't hit the connecting rail, so Rafa lives to fight another day. Traps him nearly, but Venga jumps across. Inject comes out and says, ah, I screwed that up. And backs off. This is the problem with Athena. She's just so quick around the map. Venga needs to execute when he has the chance. He missed that one. Big lightning gun. Athena backing off. Neither one of these connected with the rails. Wow. But there we go. Rafa hitting two. They're both so weak. Just so smart knowing that, okay, I hit that rail. There's no way he can get past me. I'm going to get another free one. Rafa there as he avoids that rail, grabs the 50 shard, and the fight for the heavy might be the first frag on the board here, depending on how committal they are. Rafa wants it. There's the hook. And as you said, Athena just so mobile can be everywhere you want to be. Venga popping the inject. He wants to take this fight. He wants to do some damage. Good dodging by Rafa from below. And Venga takes another route, decides to be more consistent damage. But Rafa retaliates with the rail, trading. And we're back on even stacks. Good railer from Wenger, but a free one for Rafa as Wenger assumes that he was going to make the move to the heavy a little bit earlier there. And the split between the items huge. Good rail again, Wenger extremely weak. He's not going to have inject for another 10 seconds, but a good defensive rail wow. on the way out, leaving Rafa very weak. Wenger making his way back across. Rafa playing very slow, waiting for these health bubbles before he goes over to the Mega. He gets hit, Wow! but somehow he hits one of, of his time. own. Oh, 
Oh, the trade comes out. Fantastic rocket from Venger to make sure that Rafa doesn't get that for free. Great rail off the spawn. Can he follow up? Venger with a miss, oh! but he follows up and plants him. What, 25, 13 HP on that one, Dan. They're both hitting the most insanely clutch shots. Every time you think Venger's got the upper hand, Rafa somehow hits a crazy rail, but Venger retaliates of his own. Connecting with one and we said this could be a real heavy game, but oh boy, it is. Rafa catching him off guard with the lightning gun, but he's pretty weak. Inject isn't up, but Venger's more than happy to take this fight. Swatch to the rail and connects. Jet comes out. Rafa trying to steal that away. He does, but it somehow gets the frag. Surely I thought Venger was going to take him out, but the rockets don't land. Shotgun's not connecting, and Rafa's going to. Bossed on through with the rocket launching. Fortunately, Venger didn't hit as much as he should have there. Takes That's the lead insane. as well, but he's pretty weak. And Venger's in position. You can see Rafa knows the timing, but doesn't want to expose himself to Venger's rail. Respect coming out there, just slowly strafing across. Doesn't have a rail of his own, so he's just biding his time one more second. But he knows he's railable now. Be surprised if he commits for this. He uses the grapple and actually goes all right on through. Venger hits the rail, but he's weak himself, and Rafa gets the frag. More efficient damage with the lightning gun and closing the gap. Rafa taking, again, one of his calculated risks, saying, all right, hit your rails if you can, and if you don't, you're going to pay the price up two now. As Venger drops down with the shotgun, good weapon swap here. Rafa on 80 points of health, needs to be careful, needs to get out of there. Venger doing great damage, and the chase is on, Dan. I really enjoyed the switching strategy from Rafa. The first two minutes was a rail-heavy game for both players, but ever since then, Rafa realized he's losing out on these duels, and they're pretty high risk. So I'm going to just use my grapples to... Oh, absolute treat so far. I think he heard what you said about his rail being garbage and you took that personally, but he was also like, you know what, maybe maybe he's onto something. Pro tips from Dan here as the hook comes in to do a little bit of damage on the Mega Venger, peppering with heavy machine gun, not taking any rails, and unfortunate for Rafa, he absolutely got bullied on that fight. He has, but he's the one controlling the items, he's got more stack to work with. Good frag by Venger just before the heavy as well. And Definitely like to see Venger just calming his aggression a little bit. A few of these pushes, he's tried to, to make a surprising move and it hasn't worked out and cost him a frag. And he can't be giving up free frags against Rafa. So he's working this mega well, going up aggressive, using the speed of the Anarchy to go in and just melting the Athena, picking up the light as well. This is really game on. Five minutes in now, one frag the difference. Big rocket through the telly, hits with another one, and Venger almost takes himself out with that self damage to get out of there. 65 HP after the bubble, but he is going to have inject up shortly. He's going to need to pop that potentially if Rafa can find some more damage. Misses with the rail, the rocket won't land from Venger. There's the inject for a little bit of insurance, but the Mega's not up for another eight seconds. Odd position here from Venger as he's stuck on the low ground. Does grab a 50 shard, but he should get out of there. As he does, Heavy's going to be the next item up, but Rafa, it's so smart, wants to cut off Venger, and now Venger has to play this kind of where is Rafa game. I want to stay the hell away from there and actually earns himself the Mega with his jukes. Yeah, really nice play by Venger. Rafa trying to capitalize on his high ground position, but Venger reading it and getting across the map. Now, Rafa's a little bit stuck in this heavy area. It's difficult to get out, and he decides to go the low ground. He really and desperately wants to avoid any rail angles from Venger. That's why he's forfeited high ground position. He's playing nice and slow. Just missing out on that jump, probably for the best as the rocket was lying in wait there. A little bit of tribal to push him back, and Venger luckily has the 50 shard to work with on cycle with the Mega as well. Inject in the pocket if the fight goes horribly wrong. Good rocket around the corner for Venger here. But good retaliation rail, but the rocket from around the corner, the rail won't land. Venger needs some armor waiting on his upper 50. He's got the inject up as well, so he wants to push, which he pops it. He goes in aggressive. He knows the timing. He bounces Rafa off. And Rafa might just try and rain down some pain from below. He knows he hasn't got the stack to push. He does forfeit the item and goes back for the Mega. Picks up a light on route as well, so actually gets the better of that exchange, given he had a light to fall back on. Big rocket as well from below, and Venga, without the inject, shouldn't be looking to push this. Rafa knowing it goes up aggressive. The lightning gun's good from Rafa, and he gets a nice frag to extend this league again. Doesn't connect off the spawn, though. Venga will be pushing this heavy. Seven minutes in, two frags for Rafa. 
can Venger claw his way back into this? He just needs one good clean frag here. But Rafa using that passive from Athena beautifully to make the jump over the Mega. Big rocket here as Venger goes in. The inject comes out, but the rockets are just landing into the hook, into the shotgun. As Rafa says, get over here. Closes the gap, gets the frag. Venger has to be careful, but not with a rocket like that as he hits right in Rafa's stomach. Rafa a little bit weak for this heavy. Now Venger on the chase. Good machine gun here, but the tribal reply from Rafa, not so bad. Venger without much weapon, he's going in aggressive, and he hits a wow. full rocket! That's the best shot I've ever seen. That's the most fantastic rocket I've ever seen. Rafa has taken his foot off the gas a lot. He doesn't want to fight Venger, but you've seen the problems that Athena is bringing to the table. Every time there is an opportunity, Rafa is instantly in his face, closing the gap. He's trying to get, and you can see he doesn't want to have any sort of rail engagements, no shenanigans with Venger. He's playing the map perfectly, just running away, delaying the game. Items really don't matter that much in a light versus light. They're good to have, but you don't need to control them both. But this time, Venger will be controlling them both. Rafa is playing the positional game. Running the map, taking resources away from Rafa, having the inject as well. Rafa fighting from down below, trying to float him with the LG, but he won't have enough stacked as good damage. But just like that, the inject again and the 50 shard for Venger gives him a huge advantage off the spawn. Damn right, he's been spotted. He's got the shotgun to work with, which can cause a lot of pain, but he's been caught. Eight to eight minutes ago, and Venger's got both items on lockdown. This is a huge shift in momentum as now Rafa is stuck with nothing to work with. He has to spend time getting weapons, so he cannot pressure these items. Venger, if he finds Rafa now, he's dead. He's got no rocket, so he can go in hard. Ooh. Venger needs to stop trying to thread these needles. He's taking so much self damage for no reason, and the rail from Rafa Ooh. gives him the advantage. And now Venger too early on this heavy, and with those two rockets, you gotta wonder. Drive by rail won't land the inject. He pops it just at the right Venger. time, and he does take a rail there. Big damage from Rafa, the chip damage is huge. Renga's nearly available. If a little bit more chip comes, he's just going to have to get out and forfeit that item. Rafa gets caught, though! Nearly pinned down, Venga. They're both on roughly the same stack. Rafa got the low ground, got the item. There's a long time for this next heavy. Trying to find a rail angle. And you've got to be so wary. Even if Rafa's on the low ground, he can just scoot him up with those grapples. So Venga just decides to play it nice and safe and take the rail angle from Papar. Rafa's ready for it, though. He's pinned! And Unbelievable! GG. I cannot believe it. Venger tried to hit the magic rocket, and that's it. Rafa takes it with amazing LG at the end to just punish that peak, just a sliver of a peak. And just like that, it's all gone. Rafa has done it, and he sends Venger into the lower bracket. What can you say? I think that was a pure win of experience. Rafa coming to the fore. Winning map two was just... The, the balls on that man, the mental steal, and then that map as well, switching up the strategy. He realized he wasn't winning out in the rail duels and just played an, a lovely tempered deep embrace and catching Venger off guard. They're a little bit greedy, a little bit of youthful exuberance.